This video is a sneak peek of the Adapt Builder and Revit Link. For the video, we'll be using Adapt Builder 2018 to be released in September, and we'll be using Revit 2018. The link will also apply to our uh, Revit Link 2019 to be released here in the next month also. Uh, in this video, we're going to, going to be looking at a two-way slab that has both banded and distributed tendons, and we're going to calculate the reinforcement and our intent is to not only export the geometry from the builder model but to also export the post tensioning a representation of the post tensioning and also the reinforcement that's produced within adapt builder and in order to do this um, we're going to use the adapt generic IMP file format um, and this is useful for purposes of generating uh, sheets and drawings that stem from Revit that have some representation of the post tensioning and tags associated with the post tensioning so that uh, the design can be annotated within Revit. We'll go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is select the analysis option and we're going to mesh the structure. We'll use this option to mesh the slabs and we'll stay within this analysis ribbon and we're just going to execute the analysis. So we have a few combinations here that will allow us to produce some reinforcement. The analysis has been completed. We'll now go and just select the option for visibility and I'm going to go back to the default display to hide the tendons and the finite element mesh. And under floor design we're going to uh, generate the design sections. So we already have X direction strips. Let's exit out of there. Let's go to visibility. We have um, X direction strips and Y direction strips. Here are X direction and Y direction. And we can go ahead and under floor design, we're going to um, design those sections. We'll select yes to save the design and now we have reinforcement that we can produce graphically on screen so I'll just select the option to calculate the rebar plan for the envelope of the combinations and you can see that we have reinforcement uh, green represents the top reinforcement red represents the bottom green is isolated or grouped rebar and the bottom rebar is distributed and if I select the plan view option this is represented here by these leader lines that show the distribution, for example, of the 12 number 8s. Uh, the next step will be to export this as an IMP file. So we're going to select the level that we want to export. You'll notice I'm working, if I look at the upper right, I'm working in what's called single level mode. And if we select the option under the file menu for export, IMP, we're going to use the IMP format. This is the latest version of the IMP format which allows us to save and store the PT and the uh, reinforcement data. Now before we actually do this we want to go back to the user interface and under tendon we're going to go to tendon settings and we want to make sure that the option for export tendon segments in IMP is selected. So that will allow us to produce the um, representation of the tendons as segmented reinforcement within Revit. We'll select OK. I'll go back to File, Export, IMP, and I'll just save this as an IMP file. And now we're going to open Revit to produce the um, import. Now when we open Revit, we want to right click and we want to open Revit as administrator. So if I go to my desktop and right click, I'll select Run as administrator. Inside of Revit, it's also important to use the option for a structural template. So we'll select that option. If you have the Adapt to Revit link installed, you should have options under Analyze for Import and Export. So in this case, we're going to import a file from Builder. We'll just use the default parameters for columns. And I'm going to select my IMP file that I saved 
and in the Adapt Revit Link 2018-19 import options, it's going to show us which levels are going to import. Um, we can also select now the option for reinforcement. If you've been exposed to previous versions of the Revit Link, these have been inactive. We've now enabled these options. We can select slab reinforcement, mesh rebar, or flexural reinforcement. In this case, I have no mesh rebar. So I'm going to turn that off. I do have flexural reinforcement and we're going to set the default bar spacing for group bars. I'll set that to let's say three inches and I want to import uh, the reinforcement as individual bars for my uh, rebar layout and that's uh, that's defaulted to. It's locked. You cannot change that at this point. So we can also choose a selection for post tensioning and I'll select the option to import the data. In the first um, set of data we'll, we'll import, this is the main slab geometry loads and also the reinforcement. So you can see in the background while the program is working on importing the tendon data, you can see the grouped rebar over the columns as well as the distributed rebar in the slab. So generating the tendon data may take a few minutes. After it's completed, we can select yes or no to reviewing the log, the import log. If we select no, the program will open into the view. And you can see here that we have, for example, grouped reinforcement. If I select this object, um, the program will show the object properties here. If I select, for example, a distributed bar, these are distributed bars that can then be manipulated within Revit for the um, pre-processing of generating the structural plan data. In terms of the post-tensioning, you can see that the post-tensioning is actually represented as segmented reinforcement. So each segment, if I click on this particular um, uh, segment and I scroll to the bottom, this segment actually has properties associated with it. So we tag, for example, a number of strands, tendon area, effective force, live and dead, uh, the tendon label, wobble, and the type of post-tensioning system that, that it is. And these can then be used uh, within Revit to manipulate data and to uh, represent the tendons with tags for the drawing production. It's important to note in Builder when you export uh, the file from Builder to Revit to make sure that you select the IMP option. There's two options. One is actually called Revit. The other is called IMP. The Revit option is for older versions of the Revit link pre-2016, whereas the IMP option has all of the updated and necessary compatibility for, um, for versions 2018 and also version 2019. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at adaptsoft.com. Thank you.